Hi everybody! Today I'm gonna show you how to use interdental brushes to clean in between your teeth. Right, and how to use the interdental brushes or the dental picks? There are many different types of interdental brushes. The ones that I prefer is the rubber ones because they are more gentle in between teeth when you have crowns or when you have fillings. The ones that they are uh, wire, the wire sometimes gets stuck in some of the fillings or some of the crowns and then it's difficult to get, it, get them out. So it's just, I think the, the, the gentle ones are the, are the rubber ones. There are many different brands, right? The ones that I normally use are these ones that is the ones that when you bend them like this to get to the back ones, they don't break, right? There are others that as soon as you bend them like this, they break. So it's, they are good for the front ones, but they are not good for the back ones, okay? So once you've done this, for example, I'm gonna show you that lower one here that I have a little bit more of space. If you don't know or you tried and you don't know how to floss, using the interdental brushes you will remove the plaque that is under your gum line. So what you need to do is to, the blue one is the wider one, the bigger one, and the, yeah, the orange is the smallest ones for the small gaps and for the big gaps, right? I'm gonna use, you should use the bigger one that goes through the space but that it doesn't you don't need to make very much pressure to get through the space okay so for example for that one you need to bend it like this and then close your mouth I, you, you need to place this inside your mouth huh? and then put your cheek away and then get to the space and in and out you need to see that it goes through fully. If it doesn't go through fully, it means that you are tilting the brush down inside your gum, which is not the correct way. So what you need to do is just to go straight towards the space and you need to feel with your tongue that it went fully through. Mm-hmm. Then after that, clean it under the tap water, very important, and then go to the next space. If you don't clean it under the tap water, every single space, you will spread the plaque tooth to tooth. And we don't want that, we want to get rid of it. If you see that the next space doesn't go through, then use the, sm the, the smaller one. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Then clean and clean under the tap water. For the top ones is the same, but it's just more difficult to see. Can you see? And then clean under the tap water. If the, the space is too tight. Mm -hmm. You can use the small one. And if it's more back, you will just need with one finger stretch your cheek like that, close your mouth because if you open a lot, you see your lip doesn't allow you to get to the top, so close and feel that you went through, okay? And remember, every single time that you clean one space, clean under the tap water. So these brushes Actually, if they, if you haven't break it doing it, you can br uh, clean it very, very well and you can just leave it in a dry place. Don't keep it wet to avoid fungus and to avoid bacteria, but if you clean very well with hand soap 
under the tap water and you dry it very well you can use it the next day but you need to clean it very well as soon as you see that they start to peel off or they are too bent or they are not going through pro properly then throw them away and use and take a new one and of course after doing this same way uh, take water or salt water and rinse your mouth vigorously to get rid of all the plaque, the, the loose plaque that could stay in your teeth after doing this. But the only thing the rubber picks don't do is that they don't clean the contact point. The floss clean in between teeth to avoid the cavities in between teeth. And this only cleans the triangle here yeah, in between them, so this only prevents from cavities under the gum line and to prevent that the tartar gelt gets built up. Uh, this is the only disadvantage of this, is that they don't clean in between the teeth as the floss does. And the other types of uh, interdental brushes uh, these ones, well, there are many, many in the market. I'm not going to explain all of them to you, but it's just for you to let you know that they are different colors, so different sizes and different handles. The long handle work very well to get to the back ones, right? And the short ones, they go very well for the front ones. But as you can see, they, they have different sizes and some of them they are very big, but it's because the patient normally just have already that bone loss. So in between teeth, under the gum line, the spaces are much bigger. And with the floss and with that rubber picks, it's not enough to clean that space. So then you will need these ones. But it's very difficult for me to give you advice uh, regarding sizes, because it's something that we need to see in mouth which ones go through in the pro with the proper pressure and so it's not that difficult to get in and not that easy so, so i cannot tell you which ones will be better but if you have already and you see that when you clean in between a space it goes too easy then it means that you need a bigger size just one more bigger size uh, and if you see that it goes so it doesn't go through then it means that you need something smaller uh, but yeah it's difficult for me to give to tell you which ones <laughs> is the one that fits in your gaps because it's something that the hygienist or the dentist need to check and then give you the advice on what sizes is the one that fits better in your gaps I hope this video has been helpful. If so, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you think that this video will help your friends and families too, please share the video with them. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.